come back. My goodness, me, Sakwa, this is MCM. We're just about, oh my goodness, all right. We're just about to get into the last conversation of the day. Sorry for that interruption. It happens all the time, and you can interact with us on our socials, and that includes Facebook, X, Instagram, and the threads, which I'm still figuring out how to use it. I don't want you to for a channel. Personally, Brian Sokwa 101. We're being joined by uh, Byron Otieno and Matthew Mwania. The question will be running on our social media, but let's pick up where we left off last week, Byron. Um, we talked about uh, some of the things that, you know, as a gentleman, <laughs> you should do, and things that sometimes earn you a slap for nothing. And you guys were giving your, uh, just quickly, in three minutes, and then we get to the subject at hand. Uh, maybe we can start off by ending it by saying, uh, if you guys can give your personal experiences, maybe what are the characteristics of a gentleman? And maybe you can go first, and then I'm going to get to you. A gentleman. Yep. See, a gentleman is somebody that respects women. I see being considered a gentleman, I related to the other day what I classified as a lady. Yeah. To be a gentleman, you have to hold a certain kind of esteem, a certain kind of respect in society. And by that I mean you have to be respected of some sort. And you have to be, you have to, as a person, yeah. When you respect yourself, then you can gain the respect of others. Okay. And more so, and the most important of all, respect these ladies. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you respect ladies, then a lot of these things that men do that might earn them a slap, as you said, it won't be happening because you know what to do, not what not to do. And I'm not saying that you can leave it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for this. Again, this time you have given to me. For the case of m gen gents and a man, you need to understand what's a gentleman and a man. A man is a, a boy is a grown up. A boy is a man. A full grown up man. He a kona beard. That is a man. Any anything that is male, in terms of a human being, mm -hmm. that is a man. Okay. But a gentleman, you have to bear some specific principles. First, respect. Mm -hmm. And your character, while you are just in the midst of others, yeah. that's you, you are simply qualified as a gentleman. Yeah. Uh, maybe individually, are there like, uh, let's say, traits? Uh, hey, okay. Are there like traits that define you individually as a as, as a man that you say, hey, and yeah, this this is what makes me likable yeah. out there to both people. To me, on my side, uh, some of the things that make me feel that I'm a gentleman: respect, respect. Uh, what is this respect? Do you mind like defining it? Yeah, let me yeah. define it a bit. Uh -huh. When I'm talking of respect, first, respecting, I respect myself first, then I respect the others. My contact to others will simply and automatically define I myself more than I myself defining myself to you. My contact to you and the way we I'm going to interact with you, it will simply tell you the man or the gentleman I'm the kind of a gentleman I am, then I myself explain it to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So uh, maybe what are some of the mistakes? This is the last question, mm -hmm. please. And we switch to the conversation at hand because we had said we'll finish up with last week's. Yeah. So maybe um, what are some of the mistakes that men make that uh, throw women off the hook? In terms of like once you do this and that, uh, A, B, C, D, damn, you are wrong, you are wrong, and damn, your, ca your character is damaged. Maybe, Byron, you can start off. See, Brian, the women mm -hmm. have changed, seriously, over the time, looking at it from Generation X to the millennials to the Gen Zs right now. Okay. The women have changed, and this has demanded some sort of a uh, change from the men to we have to adapt, yeah. right. or else we are the ones who are getting hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Of the change of a woman, I think the definition of who a man should be mm -hmm. and what a man should do has changed. Look right. at it from the perspective of our parents, per se. Right. Yeah. In their age, what was a man supposed to be? A man was a provider, yes? Mm -hmm. A man was somebody who was respected in the house. A man was the head of the family. Right. Yeah. And now, when a man did all that mm -hmm. and, and attained the particular respect of the society, uh, going by the morals of the society then, mm -hmm. then this man was a gentleman, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, when it came to the, I don't know, the late 90s, uh, they came with the whole idea of feminism. 
Their family was good, Brian. Yeah, it was good at the start. And then they transformed it and it became a women's plaything. It is okay. never, yeah, that they are not doing whatever family was meant to be. It is not empowering women anymore. Right. Yeah, they are using it to run their weird agendas, I can say. Okay. Uh, I right. should. <laughs> so, yes. in our society today, uh -huh. I could say a gentleman, what a man should not do that will throw a woman off the hookers. Completely changed. What should you not do? You should not have, if you don't have money, the woman is off the hook. Oh, come on, Professor. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's you it. better stop if you don't have money. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, hey, sir. Allow me to start a bit. And let me explain something. It is now time to call for the breach of empowerment. Because you think it's going to work? It will work. How? For instance, <laughs> let me show you and let me tell you one thing. These women have cried for women empowerment since 1940, so 40s, 14 yuko, kiki mother Teresa, all those ma women, they have fought. And really they have come from, from very far. Mm -hmm. But now, wamepata na kiburi fulani. Kiburi mewapata. Because they are, now, in is that the two, hata leo sa hiyo mke hapa, mkoro na wibu, aleda hapa. Hakuna, mm -hmm. una, ee eh, ana makosa, naenda mekuanza, wewe kuna makosa. Mm -hmm. You see now, men tunaumia. Plus time ni dikuambia yeah. anume tunakapiti hapa. And that's why the reason that tukona more suicides are wanaume more than ladies ni kuwa men at least tuwaka inje tuonge. Okay. But it is indeed now we, since we nyeo tuonge to sikike. Our voice is sikike. Yeah. Because mina, yes, I'm before, mnaenda kuanzisha my foundation. And ni kianzisha, the key thing will be empowerment, uh, empowering the boy child empowerment. Because okay. since we nyeo, that's when wanata, juzi umezikia dhara kanithi uko. Boys are tuko shule. Wasiana metu kanyaga, metu kanyaga, tukajua, eh, masomo ni wasiana. Like, uh, now I'm proud of, because for the last two years, yeah. men are showing the ladies that we are still the head in academics. Mm -hmm. From four and, and standard eight, KCP and KCSC, boys are leading. Yeah. That's why we need to now to empower boy, the boy child. Uh -huh. Now, to, I, I come to answer your questions that, uh, same, to the, same to the case of SIA said that, come on a pesa jikat, but at a point, let the lady, let the lady understand. Yeah. We are working in a different. We are working in different fields. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's an accountant. Wewe uko uko wewe tu ni secretariat. Yeah. Salary will be different. Accountant maybe akon hundred. Una 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 randi kwa buka bahati yamaka fifty. Mm -hmm. So, pia ye, I realize this is my man. Let me give her, um, let me give him respect as yeah. he, the way he gives me and life life continues. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, I have so many questions on that, but since you are ending it, uh, I'm I'm asking in my head, like, why should why should money be the first commodity of a of a relationship? Is it a business? <laughs> Is it a business? It's 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 a relationship. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we can answer that for ourselves. Yes. Now let's switch gears. We have to talk about an interesting topic today, and uh, it's on our social media platform. To me, Lisa, graduate kipendana na primary dropout. It a work kweli ama love is blind. <laughs> Once again, uh, feedback will be coming just shortly. Graduate a keep and down and a primary dropout. It a work quickly. I'm a love is blind. Still, in the name of love, <laughs> step in the name of love. Shout out to R. Kelly. Uh, let me start off by you as well. Uh, but the way since it's also the end of the 844 system, mm -hmm. <laughs> shortly, do you have any experiences of that? Before we talk about the serious topic of love not drop out, dropping out, do you <laughs> have any memories, the high school, primary, that you still hold on to, even as we mark the end of it? I could say high school for me was a learning experience. Uh -huh. But yeah, eight for Learning four. experience. Yes, it was a learning. What were you learning? I learned a <laughs> lot. Apart, apart from, from academic. Yeah, apart from <laughs> academic, yeah. I could say, apart from the academics, I could say high school did a good job in modeling me to become who I am today. Yeah, it toughened me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I were the things plan. that were went amiss or went right? <laughs> See, I could say learning in a boys school kusoma in a boys school a mixed not a mixed a boarding boys school public yeah uh -huh. now that is fun in its own good and bad ways yeah. bad way <laughs> <laughs> bad ways uh, the kind of things that go uko tunatandikwa i tell you uko ni ngumi uko hakuna kitu kitapo kimochafu ni uko na mwalimu math na physics eh wa math sema kitu wa math 
Pukwa Mats tuko na story. Okay. Uh, what about you? What do you remember from high school? Mm. I've got a problem with the 844 system. Oh, so you are the you are you are a big supporter of CBC. CBC na support pia oh. 100 plus. Okay. Simply because uh -huh. uh, building and modeling of these kids uh -huh. me at a far distance. Okay. So kama sasa hivi unajua kumodelia watoto wa university sasa surely it doesn't make any sense. And the more the, the earlier you begin modeling a kid or the earlier you begin the better mm. or the less just pain you love mm. in life because si ni wale tumelelea huko tumekana tumetoka tu ni ABCD tumekuja kuingia kwa system ya eh lazima kra unajua mtu kwa naweza guess na mpate na maji na songa yeah. so from that na transit to university mecha yenye ni ni kama tu ya high school kidogo lakini hapa ni ujisome sana university yeah. but in the now the CBC one Practicals unanza standard 4, standard 3. You know, sikia, anaguja na kambia, dumetuma kuku for what purpose. Uwe shituma kuku ukiwa, ukiwa, iso, i, for the rest of your life, except ukiwa, for, ukiwa third, e, form 3, ukiwa nga rikacha hizo mambo na practicals. No, but, uh, this kid started akiwa ali, 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 kiwa standard f, grade 4. So, atagroa kijua, e life ni is more about mambo na kuchitegemea wa mwenyewe. Because, for example, I saw I understand that there is a, I think a standard three, standard four, standard five kid from Trukana, he left a game. Then it looked, yeah, we need this kind of people. A standard three or standard five kid, a ref a game, becoming a referee in co brothers who are bigger than you, it looks interesting. More than that, since you don't know, you football, you don't know, 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 from football, Tumetafuta maybe coach ni mekata na no utunazasa tunenda kuzomeo referee. You see? Yeah. So, hii practicals from early, I support it. That's why right. home, I'm supporting CBC. Ah, those mothers na wambia, mm. mtoto wawo licheza na masomo saa hii. Yeah. Even you yourself ya rajoka. Hii kama si 484 ili kushinda, skumu mtoto asome hii CBC. Hii CBC kuna at least benefit zake. Ata kama atenda, you know, atenda high school, ama atenda, ata kama atamaliza high school hiyo yeah. yeah. ya nini ya CBC. Yeah. At least, ile, ile performance ya mekua na from grade year 4, jumozo na wanza kufanya practicals grade 4, grade 3, yeah. to grade 6. Ama yo, before enda wa transit to the, to the higher nini secondary school. Mm. Itakuwa na more benefit. More than sister wajoku maliza form 4, tumejua tu kulima sukuma peke yake. <laughs> Practical kwenye tumefanya. That is it. Kwenye tumefanya agriculture. Yeah, that is it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, big time. I think I agree with you. I back you up a thousand percent. Now, still on that CBC note, uh, you individually, mm. would you love or fall in love with, <laughs> in the name of the question for the day, would you fall in love with a primary high school dropout? No. Why not? Maybe like three reasons. Uh, I'll give you first reason. Four. First reason, this one is a kid. I, uh, the mind, the capacity in your IQ yake, more than yours. How? Because there could be, yeah, I don't know how old you are, uh, I don't want to ask your age, but for example, just right now, you yeah. met a lady, yeah. beautiful, she's yeah. ready for marriage. <laughs> I don't know if you are yourself, but you'll tell me off the air. Yeah. And then you don't know if you finish high school or primary school, yeah. but then you fall in love. Only like six or a year down the relationship, you realize, yeah. damn, she did not even finish class four. And here you are, you're almost going to tie the knot at the aisle. What do you do in that situation? Then that takes me back to last, the last the week's topic. I said that during your courtship, what were you trying to understand from the, your partner, from your partner? Mm -hmm. Because you need one thing to understand, alisomea wapi, kwa ni wapi, high school alikuwa wapi. Isikuja kufono the same case ya, sakaja, hako enda university na wana, pictures ya university. So, anapa, because at that time, you don't scroll. Did you confirm that? <laughs> Yeah, Mimi, the same one, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, unachia hiyo kezi, mi niliwana, inyewe hii, hapa, ni siyasa tu inaendelea. But, yeah. you would not fall in love? I will not. Um, what if you realize, ame kudanganya, ame kudanganya in this case? Ame kudanganya that, mm. alimaliza. Yeah. Then, ni, we are in it. Four. Then, the next step is, I dro just drop her. Okay. Yeah, I tell her, it won't work. Simply because, First thing you didn't dangan. So come and dangan you to go on three months, I'm three weeks. What of the rest of the next 50 years? Yeah. 
what kama ni three months tumeka na out of the rest of 50 years yeah. mean that atakudanganya na she will cheat you more and more <laughs> yeah but everybody tells lies we tell lies to uh, avoid punishment to like every day there, mm. there's a statistic that say at least in a day you tell 100 lies yeah. either just by saying hi you're good you're not good but tumesema niko poor a lie hi uko api niko kbc kubo ko Corey to Africa. <laughs> Hi, we tell lies all, all day. So maybe we wasim sabe. Wasim sabe for. Sisi unajua mare hii kitu inaitwa unajua relation this is tunaika jokes by the way. Tunaika jokes. Hii kitu hii kitu ni serious matter. Let us take it seriously. Right. Love and relationships ni kitu serious sana. Uh-huh. And let us build a lot of seriousness. Okay. Tukianza kuleta mchezo mchezo Hivyo hivyo tutajenga boma mchezo mchezo tulea watoto mchezo mchezo kesho yake tunakufa tu mchezo mchezo mm. so the hard to can to can harder from beginning yeah. then a strong foundation is always a strong family a strong head up at all times it acquire kitu strong mm-hmm. yeah uh, byron would you fall in love with a f- form 2 uh, primary dropout atc in between no mhm uh, uh, maybe th- th- at that time of the NEC or a company Kuba Bana. I wanna talk to her for job. So when it comes to matters hard and relationship, these things are complicated, Kabisa. Uh-huh. Mm. Now let me push it. Like at the first stages if I discover that then that's a no we ain't going. But let's look at we started doing this thing you lied to me, yeah? And yeah. now we are uh, days into it, I'm a week, some months, into it, I'm a years perhaps, yeah. Uh-huh. And then I come to realize you are a drop out, you drop out of form two. Mm-hmm. Uh, unlike William, mm-hmm. I don't think I'll just leave immediately. I'll evaluate. Why did we take six years together? Why were we together for six years? Mm-hmm. Yes, you lied to me, but why have we survived the six years? Yeah. Mm. So I, I'll look at it at large and then see as, mat- as much as the trust will be hurt. Yeah. Absolutely. But I'll try to look at it at large and see. Yeah. Because I was telling a, a friend of mine that uh, in as much as back then in the days, a learned woman was something to be proud of. See, I remember hearing stories of uh, Mahari Ulipo depending on the level of education of a girl. Yeah. My child is a graduate. You have to pay this amount of Mahari because I was in the camp class, they drop out. Yeah. 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 But now as a person who has undergone this system, and right now, wherever I am today, you're an enlightened yeah. guy. I, I think <laughs> I have, yeah, I've you have standards of acceptance. Mm-hmm. And now I look at it and I see like, uh-huh. is it really worth it selling us the education bit? Yeah, but that yeah. that's a good question. Is it really worth it? Yeah. You have a degree, she doesn't. Or she has, you don't. Does it really matter? What happened to like working it out? Let's try, work it out. If it works, God bless our hearts. Money. Money, money. money comes in. Yeah, again. money, status. And okay. society status, I think, the social statuses mm-hmm. that happen. Yeah, if our goals don't align, what do you bring to the table? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you bring She's to the table? She's the table. Yeah. You bring. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Now, that is why I was telling you uh, times have changed. Yeah, yeah, there was a time when men were comfortable enough to bring. Uh-huh. But the women have championed for mm-hmm. a fair right. world. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And what is fair? Yeah. What bring I'm yours. Do, uh, bring mine. Right. Yeah. Right. If, if I bring yours, if I bring mine, you bring yours. Yeah, they, they don't want us to remain the head anymore. That is what they're saying. They want us to have a fair world. You see, back then, the man was a provider because he was the head of the family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. today, uh, a woman wants to have the same amount of respect as the man. Like it appears even in the most recent families, you realize that the man has absolutely left the role of the disciplinarian. When I was growing up, if you made a mistake, my mom would call my dad. Tell mm-hmm. her, see, yeah. And then my dad, even if he was away, would call me and give me a lecture maybe or mm-hmm. throw me a punishment. So yeah. And then you look at it today, it's like more like the men have become the friends of the children and the women are the disciplinary. The, the balance of uh, the, so the society, of the family, mm-hmm. the nuclear point has been upset. Okay. Yeah. I like it that perspective. I like that, 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 that outlook. It is more of an improper fraction right now. Oh, it's improper. Yeah. You think it's not helping yeah. to nurture? It's not helping. Because if, if, if the woman is saying, I am strong enough, I am capable, 
then why do they keep on victimizing themselves day in? They've made victimization like wanajurumisha uh, as a weapon against mankind. I am strong enough as you, but then still I'm weak. Okay. Mm. So what are you? Okay, that's a good question, by the way. If you spoke that in a feminist forum, they'll jump on you <laughs> with bananas and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, I would work it out, I say. When it comes to matters hard, I'm flexible. I don't know. Okay, uh, you can scroll up, Kidogo. We see the comments and then we'll, we'll, we'll still get back. Uh, w w in a situation where um, it, it's already working, the education didn't really matter that much. And... Uh, you guys have already had your first kid. Uh, are you divorcing her? No, I'm not divorcing her. For us to, I was telling you, Brian, like, Ilya relationship, if you get that far, mm -hmm. uh, plus the courtship stage that he said, mm -hmm. in Amanisha, there are things that you liked about each other. Yeah, there are some things that have fueled you and propelled you to be the fire. Uh, why just, why, why would you just decide to abandon all that because she's not a graduate? It don't make sense to me. No, yeah. it doesn't. Mm -hmm. If we've been together for six years and we have a kid and then I want to leave you because you're a dropout, I'm a joker, first of all. Second to that, I'm not the man I'm supposed to be. I'm the man of the Gen Z's and I don't like that much. All right, let me jump on you. Is yeah. love really blind? <laughs> 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 Is love really blind? I don't And when you fell in love for the first time, mm -hmm. are there things you are blind to? You're like, ah, let's ignore this. Cornelia Sonia, Ruge Nasemanga, you ignored the red flags, baby. <laughs> did you ignore some red flags and you just <laughs> stepped in and then later on you're like, hey, hey let me take a break for a minute. Oh. <laughs> okay, now to me, mm. yeah, ma, I'm always a serious man on some issues. Kuna fitu spendi ati nikama kuna chedeana ati unataka tufichane hii apana. Let's bring it at, a, at the table. Mm. Ni kuambia my facts. Mimi ni kwa hivi na hivi. Kama utanipenda nikiwa hivi, niko hivyo. Kama si uwezani, uwezani. Jikate, jikate roo safi. So she is going to change you and make you a better man. Yo, I used <laughs> <laughs> You've not heard, you don't have six weeks and I've got a gym. I'm going to come to end of sign up, gym. Because I'm going to come to the end of six weeks lately. How do you fix men or how do you fix men? End of fix men and attacker. They want a package, a tall, dark, and the rest. You, ha you must have money, you must have a good smile, you must have a masculine voice, you uh -huh. must have a masculine smell. Biceps. I wanna <laughs> she's working on you. Oh. <laughs> oh, if, if it's on that case, uh -huh. I will support her. Based on how capable I am uh -huh. and how can I manage it. Right. Simple in enthusiasm at you. I keep to my gym. Nisawa, nitaenda, skatai mimi mambo ya gym, mambo ya fitness is, is in me. That is in me. You is fitness. fitness yeah, is fitness you. is me and <laughs> fitness, I mean fitness. I get so, you. So, nitaenda, but compared to who, after all that, attaining, nisijenge mwili, nibomwe boma. Nyumba. Eh, sasa nitaenda gym 24 hours buwana. Nisia, nikozi kituwa kuleta tebo, kejwe kuniambia oo, oh, we mzee wendi kazi, pesa hiko wapi. Mm. Ataka na kusukwa, pesa hiko wapi. So, we have to compare. If it is best job, na toka, tuseme, yi, tuseme five, gym ni sawa niende, seven ni rudi nyumba, ama nifanya vinyenda fanya, ama tuweke weekend, ndiyo tebe ya kuenda to do such stuffs. Mm. Yeah. Simply ndo, manza ni jenge boma at least, iku at a level. Yeah. yeah. But I'm also asking, uh, mm. why should you accept to be manipulated, to be someone you're not? You've not been going to the gym yeah. since you were born. Yeah. And then you've met her now, you want to start going to the gym. Yeah. All that pain, what happened to just oh, eating and having <laughs> fun? <laughs> on, <laughs> on that on case, that way I said that fitness is in me and fitness I'm in fitness me. Now, in you. So <laughs> on that case, if I've not been going for it, uh -huh. let me train myself now. If mm -hmm. she forces her on, on the matter, mm -hmm. <laughs> simple questions must come yeah. about it. Reasons why. Then that means that eh, you are, you are, you are, I'm with you, then you are still comparing our family with that, with that of others. Yeah. Let us build ours based on what we found, on what we have agreed on, and we move on. Yeah. Not comparing myself at all. Ula kwa nagari, ni mbaia gari, na hiyo peza sina. 
actually love is blind. That's what I mean. I don't want to support the point of actually love is blind. No. Let us go to the table. That we are able to do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is love really blind? Hmm. I can say it is. Okay. Explain. Mm. I can say it is. Explain. People tend to shout, oh, like, I know what I'm doing. I don't know what. And then immediately this person falls in love. I tell you, you don't recognize it these people. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> They're very stupid. Somebody <laughs> like your friends will be telling you this is a red flag. Mm. Now this is it. You've been cheated on. And then and then and confirm. Are you cheating? Oh. Then like I am not cheating now for sure. Yet a friend of hers yeah. met you with a lady somewhere. Yeah. Mm. And then they be like, uh, okay, if, if he says so, then that must be it. If she says so, then that must be it. Mm. See G love is a game of trust, I could say so. Mm. Mm. Love is a game of trust. Do I have the evidence so? Mm. Uh, and uh, again, when it comes to matters, going to gym and everything. But uh, I still answer, if you met one, I can be, hey, I want you to be slim, stacking, I want you to lose weight. Like, <laughs> be slim. Uh, tall, yes, you're tall mm. and dark, but just lose weight, kidogo. Would you suffer? And why should you suffer? <laughs> why choose violence? Well, you can stay huge and still eat your favorite food and snacks and still be fine. So if, if you love me the way I am, if you love me as huge as I am, mm -hmm. then why, why do you want me to be slim? Why don't you get yourself a slim man? Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Go get yourself a slim man. There is compromise in relationships, but not, that, not to that extent. Uh -huh. But also it happens vice versa. <laughs> Guys tell ladies to go to the gym, go work out, get an eight good figure, be a size eight or ten, whatever the size is your favorite flavor, your flavor, you go with your flavor. Well, why don't you go and she get also your flavor? She, she also gets, she, maybe you want to work on her and tell her, me, I want to make you mine. So let's go through the template here, how to make you mine. <laughs> See, my, my opinion is, uh -huh. if I met you and you're my type, right? Uh -huh. yeah, you're my type from the start. So uh -huh. what, if I love a lady when you're on a figure eight, you are uh -huh. the figure eight, right? Uh -huh. If I love light-skinned ladies, so you're light-skinned, right? You're fair. Uh -huh. Okay. Something, yeah. And if I love pretty girls, you're pretty, yes. Yeah. I met you pretty, pretty girls. Mm -hmm. So you're mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I just say my everywhere. The feminist association is a council, bro. Every woman is pretty. I'm saying No matter what skin color, <laughs> you're pretty. Okay, okay. Yeah, every pretty. woman is pretty in the pretty own in the, in the whole world. Yeah. 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 Uh, on earth, Kwanza. <laughs> so if I liked you that way, then I. I'll get you because you look like what I want. Okay. That is the first stage. Right? I'm attracted to you, right? Yeah? Because you look like what I want. Yeah. yeah. And then after, no, now I get to the extent of knowing you. Now nah, I've gone past the physical appeal. Right. I, I want to know the inner you. Wh uh, what is your mindset? How do you think? What is your IQ? Yeah. But they say uh, nobody carries an X-ray to see inner beauty. <laughs> That's why you need a coach to see it. Yeah. Oh, so you, you'll, you'll be so like after this period, now, now yeah. the issue is, mm -hmm. I found you all this. Okay. And then unataka kuja kwangu, unataka kwanza kula kuna na nana. Now that I want it. Uh -huh. It's either you go and cut off that. Get, give me what I wanted. Right. Uh, give me what I wanted or I'll go and get what I wanted. Okay. Yeah. So as a man in short, you should have options. Yeah. Didn't say so. Okay. Yeah. There's somebody interviewed here, can I be, um, as a man, if you don't have option, you're screwed. Especially if you don't have money. We'll talk you about that later. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, uh, let's back, back talk to our parents. Uh, time when they were falling in love. Actually, I could have a story like level of education. In fact, I could talk to your baby. Like, uh, you're 25, and you and they will stay together or raise a family. I could have the arguments. Uh, oh, bring what you got on the table. The table is me. I'm the meal. You're the snack. Now you're not. You know, I could have become easy. But why is it that in this day and age, these things matter so much to a point it's giving people sleepless nights? Mm -hmm. Others are run for their money. Others can't even catch sleep like five minutes because I'm a Catalina and I'm too many. Why do these things matter in this day and age? Maybe let me come back to you still. Yes, first I begin with the first question. Why the... Was that so after Bibi? Yeah, one of the things that you want to say. This is so important. There were more polygamy. There were a lot of polygamous. Okay. Because, yes, there were a lot of polygamous. Because, yes, there were a lot of polygamous. 
tutazaa na yeye but kesho mimi nataka nitafute ile mwenye nilikuwa nataka yeah. but, uh, but during the olden days it worked ulikuwa unatafuti huyo na unabaki una naye yeah, yeah. happily ever after yeah mbona is he work on you right now right now because kitu ya kwanza ni wazazi wenye tunaishi na wao yeah. simple saa hii my mother ajui the kind of girls wenye tuna tuko na wao huku huku wamesoma wamechanuka unajua sa in those times wengi walikuwa ni wenye tumelelewa na wao we know them from their beginning up to this time mm -hmm. umtu ajaenda mbali so tumekuwa na hii within yeah, but sasa mimi mwenye sasa mimi mwenyewe shagoni nilitoka maybe 2020 nimekuku for the nitatoka kutana maybe nikaenda shags maybe 2030 10 years nimekuwa wapi sijakuwa mm -hmm. nikiassociate na my mom na bado wenye nimekuwa ni cash na wao within in me aja mm -hmm. awajui so yeah. kutafutia mwanaume saa hii kutafutiwa bibi ni tricky so mafika 40 na hujao <laughs> then kama hujafika umefika vote na hujao uh -huh. but then does, does age also really matter in terms of marrying in terms uh, of marriage yeah that umefika 45 na hao ni signs za them kabisa sasa shwali swali moja ni shwali matter shwali mm. to me it matter age ina matter sana mm. simple you unaweza pita na wakati eh unaweza pita zikuja okay. ukawa wezi za wewe mwenyewe mm. wanaume umekuwa umekuwa na umekuwa na umekuwa umekuwa na spam account bibi unaweza pata bibi ameisha pita more than ameisha pita ameisha pika meno post so hakuna mtu atakuja so hii tena yote yeah. from maybe 20 mm -hmm. kumaliza to maybe university 24 or 24 years mm -hmm. ukaenda job hiyo miaka yote hadi ukafika maybe 30 32 years mwisho 32 years hapo ulikuwa nafanya nini jai mtu mtu jai mtu mtu acha kwa nini unaishi on your own unaishi mass you need to cut but that is a good question if you yeah. are in that age bracket why yeah. are you not married, married. between 20 umesema between what age Be between maybe na sasa tuseme no for example ukimaliza university 24 uh -huh. to 24, 32 24 to 32 hapo kuna gap of around 8 years 10 years hapo for a man for a man supposed to be unapasa kuwa married to a marriage yeah. uh -huh. lady for a lady ana 28 we lady by a 28 27 she should be in it. So again, that's another that. She should be in it already. Now, yeah. total up on a yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, is age really, does it really matter? Do you feel like you to yourself when you get 40, you're like, damn, the world is ending. I don't have a kid. Of course. Uh -huh. Of course. See, the society we live in, Kenya is made up of, I would say, the middle class citizens are the nation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And middle class citizens depend on employment. This will be very important. So if I want to marry at 45, yep. and uh, the retirement age is 60. 60, at what level of education will my child be when I'm retiring? Mm -hmm. And then after that, how will I pay the fee? Mm -hmm. well, what of your pensions? <laughs> pension. Pensions? Pension is ago. Pension is ago. Savings? I would say that. Now savings when it comes to that. First of all, maybe I believe that you should marry when you're young, I tell you. You are vibrant enough. You can do everything a man should do in the family. Mm -hmm. You can discipline your kids well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can show you, you can do whatever a man needs to do in the house yeah. well. with the kids. Uh, yeah, with the kids and with your wife too. Yeah. Right. Okay. And uh, it works for both men and women. Yeah. If you look at it, Mimi Usema Ukifika a lady once you're thirty five. If you don't have a name, then if you don't have a name. Meaning? If you don't have a name, then you have nothing to offer. Meaning, so if you don't have a name, mm? if you don't, if you have a name, I, you look at. Uh, I don't want to mention any names or something. But uh -huh. if you look at most of the socialite, socialite relationships, celeb, celeb relationship, mm -hmm. like if, if I come to you as a celebrity, mm -hmm. mm, there's something I gain out of it. I gain fame, I gain okay. some clout. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, even after to cry for like three months, you, you look at it. They will be married for three months one year and then they separated and then right after that uh -huh. there is somebody now come back to the real ladies now these people do not have fame everybody that is coming to you around that age mm -hmm. maybe it happened unfortunately you're a single mother everybody wants to eat but who wants to marry when you mention marriage they're running away so who's the problem? Is the lady the problem or the men who are avoiding? What were you doing when what your mates were getting married? Okay, that's a good question. Still, <laughs> what were you doing? 
<laughs> when the rest were getting married. Yes. But it could be she was not just compatible. Mm -hmm. Actually, still on that note, I've just seen a tweet by Sheila Maniga. Mm -hmm. I used to listen to her on Easy FM way, way back. She was like one of the dopest female media personalities in the country. She says that she was not meant to get married to anyone. And the hurt that she is receiving it's 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 too much please leave her alone they're like mm, they're like wakati the way you've just said there's one of the comments in msma when you were in media and you were the hottest that time you never wanted to get married you know she was actually one of the most powerful women in media way way back when easy fm was the radio before classic and keys fm and nation you know so does it mean that you know there's a there's a timeline for for people to do things i've seen somebody give a testimony of uh, 45 she got her first husband at 45, got her kid at 46, and she's still doing fine, and she's running a very big business that's taking over the USA. Yeah. The age factor, Mbona, it's so serious. Now, my, my but I'm not speaking for me, I'm speaking <laughs> for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> now, my, mm -hmm. my, my question <laughs> to you, Brian, is uh -huh. when she was 45 and she was getting the man, was she running the big business? She said yes, she was running right. the big business. Now you have your answer. She was running mm -hmm. the big business. I told you, if you have a name, uh -huh. you get what you want, but if you don't have a name, what you can get out of this. Same shit when they when you have a dinner, you have a party. I see they have a party. Me, I also respect opinion. If somebody believes that they cannot be married, then I couldn't actually push them to be married because they'll mess up the relationship and the people involved. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, why were they like I? If you look at it, I read stories and followed. Uh, yeah. You find that back then in the ages. What will Kwanu Lazimish Okoa in the traditional like, African whatever? Yeah? Yeah. Actually, yeah. once you figure 25, you're like, time is up. Yeah. yeah. For a lady, Kwanza, you're, you've overstayed if you're 25 and you don't have a kid. And, and no time. They were being forced to marry. Uh -huh. And then these people married and their marriages worked. Yeah. And they kept the family running and the lineage online in China. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then if you look at it today, it's more like I do say again that. Uh, the Western culture that we adopted brought very good things with it. Look at it, it brought us whatever we have here today. So has it helped or, or destroyed? No, no, it brought both perspectives. The problem with us Africans is that we are more Westerners than the Westerners themselves. Okay. We took it up as our own. Do you agree? We are more Westerners, I agree Westernized with than the Westerners I agree with themselves. Him. I, I agree with him. Uh -huh. Yeah. In what sense, maybe? For example, most of Africa, we, we are trying to copy from the West. Mm -hmm. For instance, to not have a maru is in a kimaju, a twist figure bit to another bank to nakopa. A brother, I can a kuramba bad eye. Also, I've heard it in Kuramba to Polepoy. You could ramble to now, Najua, Bizuri. Najua, come up, Kukopa, Kukopa, who find your wedding. You must be. You are not, you are not reasoning. <laughs> in short, there's a loose knot somewhere yes, that needs to be tightened. You are not, you know. Since the wedding, Pastor no, Mesema. It's okay. Uh, your dad, Mesema. It's okay. I support. I support. When you know this cake is a love palace supermarket, it's not cream. We to let it go. To cut it, we will part. To 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 share it. To collect it and send it home. To leave it with the banana and the farasi apa. To to get more tickets. You can cool it. Now after that, to naskia nyumbi me fuli za yote. Yeah. That is nonsense. The man's are from scratch. Yeah. So I'm on uh, my divorce after yeah. we need two months. It it so it's better, <laughs> <laughs> Madam Boss. So it's better to answer from nothing. To mm. enter to kujia to enter to new supermarket cake your love to kujia to cut it. One ojo we to na kuangalianga from perspective when you met to let ya to na kuelewa. So to na jo Mr. Brian yeye ni to let ya e cake ana wezana na e na to nangoja good fruits right. instead of utulete the whole thing here and after that to check unajua kuna kuna kusema niliona mali piga shere brother she piga shere but remember that streets mm -hmm. streets have got no memories memories is tunabaki nazo wewe yeah. kitakuramba peke yako tukao tunabaki tukisema eh hey, bra yo mm -hmm. zai alituchatishia wedding yake lakini yeah. sahi nothing hana kitu muramba. so is better mina na semanga is ni wanadu kuja tukuta githeri kwako tujue brayo hakuwa na uwezo tulikula githeri kwake na unawana marriage yake venye imeza from scratch from nowhere by scale ya menunua from nowhere weo ulbaro ni iyo gari ndo iyo kuliko tuwono ukiwa na magari tukuwono unatembea mku mpamlishu ya hapo umeenda bankrupt yeah but anyways also does it matter since tumesema story education and choosing a partner who 
has some certain levels of education. Yeah. As a man, maybe there are standards that he should have as well. Mm. Now that education is part of it, just maybe apart from any other thing that you should consider, what are they in terms of choosing a partner, partner. life partner? Character. Character is very key. Character is very key. Can you explain your character? And a character in terms, so, so for me, that I could, I need a lady when you tell me if you are If you are listening, please. It's okay. I'm skizze. I'm skizze. I don't want to be anywhere to me any link. I watch. Let me tell you that. I'm not talking about mutu. For sure. Umutu yes. To go best up Nairobi. Sawa. Maybe to Nairobi. Uku utawala. Sawa. Mi nafanya job ma nafanya job ya ma nafanya job, but due to ile commitment, maybe mi ni kona yo job na maybe yake si ile commitment ana ile commitment mingi sana. Taka ikifika seasoni ya we apa sisi Kenya tunategemea kilimo agriculture ikifika tena rains when the seasons come of rains eh, nataka you just be there weekends you are there to go and supervise. Wangali e kumenyoro kanya mpani ama udiambia tu walime na wajalima. So nataka a lady who is more responsible in matters of home, yeah. in matters of home, yeah. Uh, See, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be a homemaker. Yeah. They say uh, a woman is a home, home what? a home builder, and a man yeah. is a what? Uh, uh, please, uh, we can scroll the feedback. We see what people are saying on social media. Are you able to scroll it up? Uh huh. As it does that. Let me just see if we have something on X as that is called up uh, very fast. All right, nice. There we go. Um, Maxwell Ondili says, DJ Apana said, my love is always blind. Hmm. You had said that at some point, Byron. Uh, Sami Chisaka said, good morning. Good morning to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Deno and Sururu said, my watching live from United States of Sururu. Okay. Shout out to United States of Sururu. Hilda Wangesha said, my love is blind. Okay, uh, ha, uh, Obed, Obed and Sema Hapo ni sawa, mapenzi ni isia, hayachagwe masomo, shida itatokea wakati mabeshte zako, wala kukaribia eti unadet fala. Okay, <laughs> alright, haji Obed, Obed. And then J Max Music and Sema, <laughs> ame mjibu hapo, jame Sema, Obed fala ni hawa, mimi na jua bibi ni akili, wala si education and beauty. Hmm, bibi ni akili, okay. Aha, uh, uh, Dennis Nyongesa and Sema, love has no boundaries, kakingia katasonga tu, Natazama ni kiuwa na Moesi in Bungoma County. Shout out to you, Bungoma Massive. And then Hagai Wekesa nasema, love and education is two different things. Love ikifika, XO, uh, in short, love. Ikifika ni kupenda even you, your graduate, anaeza penda adi chokora baana. Okay, nice, got you. Michael Truman nasema, tune in from Naivansha. And according to me, your relationship I always last for long because the level of reasoning will be the biggest issue for your relationship. You yeah. had pointed it out, that yeah. Matthias. And then uh, Willy Bazona nasema, watching live from Kitale, Birunda, mm -hmm. masculine peak, and nasema, see cargo with two great takes. And then Kamau Msenango nasema, pamoja sana, hapa kia Mwangi Division in Gatundu, South Kiambu County. All right, uh, Ben Rakana Sema, it's Val for me. Wow, Val, you got your flowers right there from Ben Rankan. And then Catherine Shikona Sema, Kaganda, Muranga, Tuko, Nakas, Kamakao, Kamakei. And then also Kizito Nyongesa Sema, watching from Mwanda in Bungoma County. Seems like today we have a lot of people from Bungoma. Jos, Josem Penda Amani and Sema, Yuki Town, well represented. Catherine Shiko, Pamoja Tena Sana. Right, a boss Mongolian and some relationship and education between Billy to Fauti Ukipata Cheza Kibazenga. Are you the boss Mongolia? You know, the one who used to be a, a, a footballer and a neighbor, Joshua Mulindo and I say following out of my yuge and then Mikey Blessings and I say following. All right, uh huh. Okay, Iman James, a big fan and some Msianze Kuza Mapenzi when you are tuna pesa to do. Okay, okay, <laughs> sour. <laughs> Elias Kalivo and I say my from Malindi locked. And then we have Racha Jose and I say my it work. Okay, all right, okay. Ras Jerry and I say my it work, but graduates of Kiwana, Hakuna and Doa Apu. When I scare BB graduate and I say my corner meeting, Johnny, Sasa Tarudi, Satana Usiku. And then they spent much time on phones. When I say Pata Nyumba, I met Tulia Kumbe Wako Tu. Kwa Simu Wakuna Kuangele Shana. Okay. Willie Bazona, I say my kid. All right. We had read your feedback, Willie. And thank you so much. 
so much. And just uh, one word from you guys. Do you think uh, going on or moving forward, um, dating dynamics uh, are changing? It's going to even be extremely hard for someone to get a spouse. Now that you, know, you mentioned stories of empowerment, you're saying women can now even survive without men. Uh, somebody doesn't need a man to get pregnant. They can do IVF and they'll still be fine. They'll still get a baby. I think it has worked on Kim Kardashian and I don't know who else and many others. Just in one minute, <laughs> not even a minute, 30 seconds. Do you think dating, moving on, onwards is going to be really hard? True. Uh -huh. It's going to be very complicated. Okay. I tell you times are changing and we're adapting to the times oh. very fast. Okay. And we're adapting to things that maybe we should not be adapting to. All right. So as times move on, the levels that we've been given today are even going to get tighter. If a man, Leo, at least today it's money. Tomorrow it will be wealth. Money and wealth are two different things, I say. Okay. Uh. To me, dating, you can meet and lie. Let me f first tell you that things change. What a date you Leo, you a date you But one thing, be the person you want to be. Na, the money you nataka, let her bring, mulete, Umufunze, at least she be the person you wanted she be. Right. It a work. Okay. But again, here, Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. what so was the IVF? Uh, Apple, let and me surrogacy, actually, yeah. into surrogate. Let me take you back to Bible. Yeah. God created sex and it is our sex. Yeah. But he gave you the Holy Spirit yeah. to control. Yeah. Sour. Yeah. But now, was it the principle of God? Yeah. Who Kuoleta hizi hizi vitu zingine mambo ya to tube nini is kesi tube your brain brain wisdom. Uh, have you ever heard of that song money god made man man, man made money man money made man go yeah. something but, but anyways we can't continue bro i'm told yeah. we we are out we will be cut off the air okay. so social media moja tu moja tu yako yangu yeah. ni instagram kuna yeah. honorable matthew mwania so so yours byron utiano right Sister. thank you both uh, for Thank doing you. like a part two of this. I appreciate you so much. Wow. All right. And that's what we call it a day. We'll definitely see you tomorrow for health and entrepreneurship Tuesday with my Costa Stephanie. My good name is Brian Sakwa. Hashtag Y254 channel. Everyone on all our social media platform. We'll definitely see you tomorrow right here on Y in the morning. Have a fantastic Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.